Oh, someone took a cake. Hey, someone took a piece of my cake. The butler did. Come on. I was going to use that for my other kid. There was so many other food that you could take, but no, you had to take my cake. This is Charity, and welcome back to the Lucid Legacy Challenge, a challenge in The Sims 4 based on a challenge by the Lucid Simmer. A link to the rules for this challenge will be in the description below, as well as a link to the Lucid Simmer, the challenge's creator. Isaiah and Latasha are now going about their day on the farm, and they have two children now to help them out, Cameron and Wade. So I'm trying to get all of the chickens fed, all of the cows milked, and everything cleaned and up to par. Well, we're just about done with the farm for the day, and it's already 3 p.m. So even with everybody pitching in, this is a lot of work. I don't know how we're going to manage once we expand all the way out to the edge of the property. We've paid out all of our debt, so we no longer have any of that to worry about. So I think what we'll do is we'll try and meet all of the townspeople here at the farm and invite their children over so that we can get to know them. So we'll try and hook up Braylon with Peyton. And if you do this while both Sims are on the lot, they'll actually go and introduce themselves, give a flower, and immediately become boyfriend-girlfriend. Where are you going? You, you went out the back and then you went out the front again. Okay, he says Peyton sounds like a catch. Is he going to go introduce himself? She's right there. Okay, I didn't see it, but before we go any further, Corey is the father and Carrie is the mother. So Carrie actually lived in Hennifer on Bagley first and she had three children, Andre, Dominic, and Maybelle as a single parent. However, Dominic unfortunately passed away due to heat exhaustion. So I found that out through neighborhood stories. And then, Andre, where are you? I don't see you anywhere around here. Maybe he didn't show up. That's unfortunate. I wanted to, oh, there he is. But to say, I wanted to hook him up with someone too. So we're going to try and hook up Andre and Mara. So Mara is a member of the Watson family. Hey, what do you think about Mara? Okay, so this one is actually, I think, going to work. He looks like he's making his way over to where she's at. Okay, he gave her a flower from like 50 feet away, but okay. Yeah, it looks like they're going to be both boyfriend and girlfriend now. So, can I ask Braylon if he's going to do that? No, I no longer have the option to hook him up. So, supposedly he's going to get to know Peyton, but we'll have to see about that. So, Maybelle and Jackson actually already have a kid together. So, I was going to try and see if I could hook them up because some, for some reason, they're not boyfriend and girlfriend. So if I hook up Jackson and Maybell, they already have a child whose name is Judy, and she's an infant, so she's not here right now. Okay, so he's going to introduce himself, and they're going to be boyfriend and girlfriend. I think they actually have bad compatibility, but since they already have a child, I thought I'd stick them together anyway. Okay, so once Kari and Corey got married, they had Vaughn... Braylon, Maverick, Caitlin, and Clayton. So all of those kids are here. Most of them are teens or adults. A couple of them are kids. And I have the kids club going, but it looks like, oh, there's one of them. This one is Caitlin. So I have this huge playground out here now. And we're going to use this when the farm work is done for the day. And I did this because it takes up a huge corner of my lot and I, I never get a chance to use any of these objects because they're too big. And so we're gonna put this over here as a children's play area so that I don't have to cover the whole area with plants. And we're actually gonna put some koi in the pond because there's a nice interaction with children and this pond, it's kind of cool. 
All right, this is the interaction with the pond. It, it basically makes them a pirate and monsters will come out of it. It's actually very interesting. Because you get to see what the kid is thinking about. I think it only works if you have the child sim selected. No, okay, the adults can see it too. Normally with these things, uh, especially with the monster under the bed, you can't see anything unless you select a child sim. But I guess for this one, even if you select the adult, it works. Okay, now that we've done all the hookups and introductions that we need to do, we're, we'll go ahead and send the club members home because I think it's time to start getting everything ready for the end of the day. It's 7 p.m. So Cameron is actually going to be our flower arranger. When she was a toddler, she loved picking flowers for her mom and watching her arrange flowers in a vase. So I have a mod that allows me to actually do flower arranging for children. And then Wade, because he liked playing with the toy kitchen as a toddler, is going to be our cook. I have another mod that actually allows children to cook by themselves. And I'm just going to have him make simple things like fruit salads and garden salads while he's a kid. And then when he becomes an adult, then I'll have him make the more complicated things. Or actually when he becomes a teenager, I'll have him make the more complicated things. Okay, we're gonna give the dogs a bath and then finish our harvests and finish taking care of all of these chickens. Oh yeah, you need food. Oh no, it's a monster. Okay, at least she's going to try and talk to the monster versus waking up everyone in the household. Okay, go to sleep. Nap if you have to. Oh, and it's summer break today. That means the kids actually won't be going to school. I did hire some services, so I got a gardener and a maid to hopefully help out with the large farm until the kids get older and they don't go to school. Okay, I think we're finally done refilling all of the field with crops, and this is just getting ridiculous. I think I'm going to actually have to hire a butler, and maybe we'll stick a little house out here for the butler to stay in, because this is just ridiculous. There's so many plants. And I have to move this tent because the toddlers keep coming over here in order to sleep. Why do they choose this tent? I have two other tents over here and beds upstairs and they always pick the furthest one away. So I'm going to have to lock this one behind the gate. Oh no, Latasha has gone into labor. It's only 10.30 on Tuesday and we didn't get to do summer vacation because we had way too much to do even with the gardener and now we have a butler so I don't know where the butler went I think he went to sleep oh no he's not there so there's the maid the butler is I don't know hanging out oh there he is he's eating and Latasha's in labor but she has to feed the chickens chickens are starving Okay, Latasha's having her baby. How many babies will we get this time? A girl. We'll name her May. That's a simple name and easy for me to remember. And that's it. One baby. I took off the twins lot trait, so I didn't know if we were going to get one baby or twins. But this is just a single baby this time. And everyone's back from school. So we've invited over the Bergmans. Meet Anea. She was actually the first Sim that was watching over Latasha and Isaiah when they were toddlers, but she was in the basement and didn't interact with them, but she had to open all the seed packets because at the time I did not have the mod that allowed toddlers to harvest plants. She had two children at the time as a single mother named Jason and Luz. And Jason actually had children with three different women and so he has four kids by three different women and then he married a woman who had a child not by him chloe mcmillan so jason is over here he is actually the one that started 
the fight with Isaiah over insulting Latasha. So he, yeah, he's a little bit crazy because he did actually have so many kids with so many women and then married a woman that wasn't even the mother of his child. So he's currently married to Chloe McMillan. We won't have to find a match for him, but his sister, Luz, is not currently married. However, she does have one child and I'm not sure if we can find a match for her within the town because unfortunately she's erratic and also a bookworm and self-absorbed. Now she does have a mischief aspiration as well, so she's dastardly. I really wouldn't want to match her up with anybody in the town right now because nobody is really bad and most of them are good. So we'll just leave her alone and see if she finds a match on her own. And then Anaya had three more children. One of them was Rodney. And then we have Emma over here. And Jacobo is a toddler. He's not here right now. So I can't really invite the toddlers over with the club. I did re-invite Braylon and Brandon over. Sorry, Braylon and Peyton, because Braylon Brandon was supposed to be hooked up with Peyton, and he didn't do it. So I got to go introduce Latasha to Braylon, because I'd prefer that she knew both Sims, and then she'll try and get him to go out with her again, and we'll see if this works this time. Because she already knows Peyton, so she can talk up Peyton to Braylon and see if he'll agree with her. Okay, so she's right over there. Go introduce yourself, please. And he does, right through Anaya. Okay, well, at least it worked this time. So those two should be going out now. And I think the other two that I set up was kind of a success, but maybe not. So Courtney and Vaughn were going out, and then Braylon and Peyton are now going out. Maybell did not hook up with Jackson. She married someone else. I don't remember who. And then Maria and Andre actually got married. So the ones that were not a good compatibility actually did not end up going out with each other and marrying. So that was kind of interesting. Okay, are you going to take care of the baby? All right, you change the diaper. Can you feed her, please? Or move out of the way so I can feed her. Okay, move out of the way. Aiden Hester has passed away. Oh, no, neighborhood stories got him. What happened? He got on the bad side of a chicken. He was killed by a chicken. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, no, he's a recycled disciple. I have to fire him. I hate it when they give me Recycled Disciples as butlers because they will randomly make something disappear. This always happens to me. Yeah, sorry Yusuf. I heard that you are a Recycled Disciple and unfortunately you will make stuff randomly disappear. So you're fired. We'll get a new butler. Thank you very much. Okay, let's hire a different one. Hopefully I noticed that before he did anything. Braylon thinks Latasha Denson is swell and wants to become best friends. Of course, we set you up with your girlfriend. It's May's birthday. It's also Latasha and Isaiah's birthday today. But I think that we will wait until later to have the birthdays. Okay, and happy birthday to May. She's going to become an infant, and we're only going to have one infant this time because we did not have twins. Happy birthday, May. And she is going to be about a uh, wiggly. Okay, Aiden has a special gift for us, but Aiden is a ghost. I don't think I've ever had that happen with a ghost before. That is weird. And Isaiah aged up. Yeah, I didn't do their birthday because I actually want to make sure they have as much time as possible. So Isaiah and Latasha are about to become adults. And Latasha aged up too. Okay, Wade is going to invite over Dominic. Dominic Luna? I don't think this is one of the ones that lives in town. 
Oh, but they're part of farm kids, so they must be someone that lives in town. I just don't recognize that last name. Why, hello, Grim. Who are you here to take today? I think it's one of the chickens. Unfortunately, the evil chickens cannot stop Grim from taking the farm animals. He can only stop Grim from taking your sims. So that would have to be a playable sim. It looks like he's stuck, though. Okay, it's finally Malia's birthday and also Pablo's. So now we're going to have two more children. Happy birthday, Malia. Malia aged up and she's going to be an animal lover as well. And also creative. Oh, someone took a cake. Hey, someone took a piece of my cake. The butler did. Come on. I was going to use that for my other kid. There was so many other food that you could take. But no, you had to take my cake. All right. I have to cook a new cake. Happy birthday, Pablo. I know you're very tired and you're very upset. But it's okay. And you're going to be an animal enthusiast also and creative and we're eating for two so that's the end of another week this is charity thanks for watching mm -hmm.